You know, on UTR, I'm always looking for places that'll broaden my brain, heighten my sense of style, and at the same time, lower my blood pressure. And here at Applewood, I think I found a barrel full. Applewood Estate is part of the Ruth Mott Foundation. And if you're looking for a location with loads of history, buckets of beauty, and a heap and helping of horticulture, this is your next day trip destination. So with intellect engaged and my curiosity kicked into high gear, I set out to learn even more from Raquel team. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna pretend like this is my house for just a moment. Okay. Right. Okay, moment's over. This is a beautiful place. It is an absolutely beautiful place. Yeah, I should not live here. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of us live here, but Mrs. Mott really wanted it to be considered a resource in the community. And she wanted the house and the grounds and the estate to be a resource and a place of beauty and tranquility for her adopted hometown of Flint. And then her other core vision was to have this be a place that folks could come to and learn about the legacy of her husband, Charles Stuart Mott. Yeah, because I noticed if you drive around Flint, the Mott name is everywhere. They were very, very influential and important to this community. They absolutely were. Charles Stuart Mott was an auto pioneer. He was one of the co-founders of General Motors, but he was also a noted philanthropist. And so was Ruth in her own right, a noted philanthropist. And the family has that legacy of philanthropy, of civic engagement. Uh, Charles Stuart Mott was a mayor of Flint several times and was very much involved in community life and in many, many levels. What's amazing to me about this home, speaking of family, yeah. is that this is their family home. Absolutely. And when you tour it, not only is it incredible inside, but it's cozier than I thought it would be. It's actually, you can tell it, it was a wonderful family home. It was, and it was well used. And the grounds and the gardens mm -hmm. are amazing. How much property is here and how many gardens are there? So it depends on how you count the gardens. So I don't have an exact count, but I can give you some of the highlights of the gardens. So we have a perennial garden that's amazing. We have a team of professional horticulture staff who maintain the grounds. And we also have a fabulous core of volunteers that help to keep the property open, to do tours, to help the horticulture team as well just under 19 acres inside the gates and total 34 acres total in the property. Well, I would highly recommend people take this tour just because it's a great window into the life and legacy mm -hmm. of a great family. It is. There's no ghosts in there, are there? Not that I'm aware of. But They'll I haven't find spent me. the night there, so I don't know. Well, remember, it's my house. Go ahead, <laughs> help yourself. All right. So if hobnobbing with fellow history hunters sounds like an awesome afternoon to you, stop and smell the flowers at Applewood Estate. It's a beautiful and relaxing way to find out more fun and fascinating facts about Flint. Oh, and uh, don't worry, there's no pop quiz at the end. <laughs>